Well, it's finally settled. The arbitration case between Luis Arias and the Miami Marlins. This is Clem Hawks. I'm Gillis TV. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel and love anything sports news related in the MLB, that is, hit that subscribe button as we are only three away from our goal of 4,000. Clem Hawks and myself really appreciate all the support as of late. Now let's get into it. Newly acquired infielder Luis Arias has won an arbitration hearing against the Marlins reports from Mark Fiesend of MLB.com. The MVP sports group client will be paid $6.1 million this season rather than the $5 million figure originally submitted by his now former team, the Minnesota Twins. Miami, of course, acquired Arias, who was 25 in a trade that sent right-hander Pablo Lopez, top prospect Jose Salas, and minor league outfielder Brian Chiro to the Minnesota Twins last month. His win in arbitration hearing comes on the heels of a 316 batting line that netted him the American League batting title in 2022. Arias notched career highs in Games played with 144, plate appearances with 603, doubles with 31, and homers in 8 this past season. All of that surely factored in into his win over the newly acquired team, and he'll now receive a 187% raise over last year's $2.125 million salary. This was the infielder's second trip through arbitration as the Super 2 player and he'll, ar he'll be all arbitrational of eligible two more times before reaching free agency after the 2025 season. Sorry, I kind of stumbled there. That was, I don't know what I was trying to say there. But hey, <laughs> this is good news for the Marlins as they get Arias at, you know, 6.1 is a pretty reasonable offer. He's coming off a career high in games played, home runs, doubles you know, plate appearances, and he's the reigning AL batting champion who, you know, $5 million is kind of like a slap in the face if you think about it, if you're the Minnesota Twins trying to lowball Arias for that kind of deal. But the Marlins acquired Arias in something of a high-risk gambit, hoping that he, his improved offense will offset the inherent defensive downgrade of swapping him in at second base and moving Jazz Chisholm Jr. to center field. That's not to suggest Chisholm can't be a solid center fielder. He certainly has the tools and athleticism to handle that position. But he's been a plus defender at second base in his career, while Arias has been below average, and Chisholm will now have to learn a new position on the fly. It's a move that carries risk, but there's no denying that Miami's lineup looks deeper with a rise hitting at or near the top than it did previously. With the rise salary now set, the Marlins projected for a payroll roughly around $103 million range per roster resource. That still has a bit of room to change even without further additions as the Fish still have two pending arbitration cases with utility man John Birdie and left-hander Jesus Lizardo, both exchange figures with the club. Birdie has filed at 2.3 figure to the team's 1.9 submission, and Lizardo came in at 2.45 and the Marlins at 2.1. Those are trivial sums to add to any team to the grand schemes and so on and so forth. So the Miami Marlins, you know, this arbitration was almost just because the Twins and Arias had to go into that and try and figure out what they want. With these two other guys, it's not going to really affect the payroll as much for the Marlins. They kind of have an idea of how much it's going to be if they win or lose. Now, with Arias signing, like it said, Jazz Chisholm will go play center field. Arias will go play second base. And this Miami... Marlins team shaping out to be a threat in the NL and I'm hoping to see Arias do what he did with the Minnesota Twins in with the Minnesota Twins sorry last season where he was a really good player I remember the series they had against the Blue Jays and 
the Blue Jays couldn't do anything about it. He just seemed to be on base the whole time. That is what Miami's getting, and they got a pretty good start out of it. But hey, this is Gillis TV here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are only three away from our goal of 4,000. Thank you guys so much. I'm on out of here.